People look at the first month that he struggled, first maybe even two months, let's say, and they just ran with it. Caicedo's ass. But he was one of our best players last season. Okay, Mo, here's my next question to you. Mm, okay. In light of knowing that Palmer, so I feel like he plays best in the 10, right? For me. Um, what he plays best is... offering in the half space. But go ahead. Don't correct me. I said what I meant. It's correct you. Because if we're going to... I, I, no. If we're going to just talk yeah, about yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, exactly where he plays best at. No, half no, no, space. No. But go I ahead. I said where I think he plays best at. I clarified cool. that twice. But yeah, yeah, half my space. Question just is, letting you know what it actually is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't hear you. But <laughs> what is the best midfield three for Chelsea? Great question. And if you are... Lavia's in there. What, mm. Okay, go on. Lavia... It depends. It depends because depending on who's in midfield, it depends who's on the wingers too. If you're going to have Cole Palmer playing wing, then I'd rather have Lavi and Caicedo as like a double pivot. If you're going to have Matoweke in the wing, I'd rather have Lavia by himself and then Enzo and like Cole Palmer as the eights. Oh, so and Caicedo. No Caicedo. Oh. It depends on what we're playing. Like what we're, yeah, like, I think generally, depending on where we're playing, certain players take up other players' spaces. Lavi is that good. He, he's that good. Lavi is but, our best under, under pressure. He's our, he's but, our best you, like, you, under you, pressure being pressed. Mo, Mo, but you know the game, what I was watching, you know what I was waiting for, and I, 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 I hated that I was right. You know what I mean? Like It was almost like I felt for Chelsea. Before the game started, I said to myself, like, yo, Moises Caicedo, Enzo Fernandez, Romeo Lavia. I said, I hope and I pray that Lavia isn't the like the most comfortable and the best performer today because it's just going to confirm what we already knew. We, I feel like all of us already rated Lavia over the other two, but new system, new team, new everything. Like I'm thinking he's going to take some time to adjust. And uh, he I doesn't think, honestly, realistically, I think, I, think realistically he was the clear, I think he was clear of both of them and it wasn't realistically, even close. Realistically, the three of them have the highest potential as a midfield. If we can get our forward situation. If we have Osimhen... Put Enzo in there every single game. I agree with you, but I but I also disagree with you in the sense that I don't think the three of them fit. Like they don't match, in my opinion. No, they could. Why not? I think they could. I think mm. they could. Why not? Mm. I think they people, could. People uh, people use this I, argument. I just think, okay, there's, so, a, I think there's, there's a redundancy circles back, between circling back to Enzo. Circling back to Enzo. People use this excuse of, oh yeah, he's he's not really a defender. He's not really a ten. Neither was Chavi. Neither was Cruz. Like these are these are one of the that best. Of all time. Him no, no. Don't, don't you no, ever no, don't you ever bring up Shavi's name ever again? Let me finish my point. Don't you ever bring up Shavi's name again? Let me finish my point. Let me finish my point. My point.